Today I wanted to show you what's in my uh, everyday bag. So now I'm able to carry just a small little messenger bag that has everything that I kind of want to have with me when I'm on the go. And uh, it all fits into this guy right here. This is the, I actually don't, don't really know what the model is. Uh, it's made by Platinum, which is Best Buy's generic uh, or higher quality generic uh, brand. It's a nice little mesh bag. Uh, it's got pretty nifty zipper over here, and then makes it easy to kind of access everything that's inside of it. And what I'm keeping right now, I'm gonna start taking everything out one by one. The main thing is the GH5 with my Olympus 1240 F2.8 lens. For audio, I usually just bring the Rode Video Micro. I mean, I have access to better gear, but I like that one because it's small, simple, and I don't have to worry about battery life with it. The second item in my bag, which, whew, I'm missing a back body cap for it, is this Seven Artisans uh, Micro Four Thirds 25 millimeter lens. Uh, it's an F1.8. Uh, haven't really gotten to use it as much, but you know, I really I wanted to have a native mount prime that was small uh, and compact. This guy's been pretty nifty. In this other pouch, I keep this at the aperture light, the the M9. Haven't really gotten to use it as much as I'd like to, but it's handy, it's USB powered, it does produce really good quality light. Uh, and it's something that I want to start using more often, so I've been trying to carry it more often without the rest of the accessories that it comes with. Moving on over here, I got this tiny little Manfrotto Pixie tripod. Uh, it's super handy if I wanted to hold this out on the camera myself, and which I don't like doing, but I just like having a little tripod on hand. And it's probably one of my favorite heads on it. It's super stiff and I love how maneuverable it is. Over here, I have this just generic battery pack. I have a micro USB cable for my wireless headphones and lightning for my phone. In this other pouch, I have one variable ND filter in this former Beats headphone uh, pouch, I keep business cards in here. I don't like the camera strap to live on the camera, but I do feel better having it on me. So I've, uh, I have a couple of these Peak Design straps. So this one's a bit heavier duty, so with the GH5, it is heavier than my G7. And with the Olympus lens, that's quite a lot of weight. So I really like having this strap on me for that. I also keep just a plain moleskin note sketchbook, mostly just to write down stuff uh, really quick or jot down ideas or doodles. Then in this pouch, I have my current generation iPad. Uh, I chose this over the Pro just because it couldn't justify the how little I use it for how much the Pros cost. But this thing has been super handy uh, to use with Adobe Lightroom. I'll cover that later. Then in this top pouch, I keep my Apple Pencil uh, and a handful of drawing pens. They're not consistent. It's whatever I had on my desk lying around. And a spare battery. But yeah, this kit right here, I feel, makes me very effective, mainly for stills. But now that I have a stabilized body, I feel more confident just getting shooting random D-roll, uh, which is something I didn't always do. But with, with this, I can do a lot more. And like I said, that stabilized sensor has, I feel like has opened up a lot more possibilities for me. Uh, but yeah, this is what is on me usually by default. Um, yeah, if you have any questions, let me know. I, I will do more breakdowns of these kinds of setups because Aside from personal use, I change things up for, uh, for freelance work. And as we covered in my gear closet a few days ago, 
I have specific bags. I mean, I didn't buy them with the intention of this, but I have specific bags that I use um, for different assignments. All right, so thanks for watching. Y'all have a good day. Talk to you later. Peace.